Okay, let's get into it here. Uh, we're going to read from the Bible. And uh, I believe we are at uh, chapter 4. And before we do that, let's uh, check out a little bit more of Revealing God's Treasure with Ron Wyatt. And the Lord said to Moses, Behold, I will stand before you there on the rock at Horeb, and you shall strike the rock, and water will come out of it, that the people may drink. Northwest of Jebel El Laws is the rock of Horeb that we will explore next. Standing on the crest of a hill, the singular rock stands 50 feet tall and can easily be seen from a great distance. As the people complained once again asking for water, the Lord heard their cries and he commanded Moses to strike the rock. Then water gushed out in abundance. The rock was split down the middle from top to bottom by the hand of God. Okay, that is awesome. Sure looks like you could have a lot of water come out of that rock when you split it open, doesn't it? Well, we'll be reading about that shortly. Right now, let's read chapter 4, verses 1 through 5. From Exodus. First from the John Wycliffe version. Moses answered and said, The coming shall not believe to me, neither thy shall hear my voice, but they shall say, The Lord appeared not to thee. Therefore the Lord said to him, What is this that thou holdest in thine hand? Moses answered, A yurd. And the Lord said, Cast it forth into earth. And he cast it forth. And it was turned into a serpent, so that Moses fled. And the Lord said, Hold forth thine hand, and take the tail thereof. He stretched forth and held, and it was turned into a yurd. And the Lord said, That thee believe that the Lord God of thy fathers appeared to thee, God of Abraham, and God of Isaac, and God of Jacob. And now let's read King James. And Moses answered and said, but behold, they will not believe me, nor hearken unto my voice. For they will say, The Lord hath not appeared unto thee. And the Lord said unto him, What is this that in thine hand? And he said, A rod. And he said, Cast it on the ground. And he cast it on the ground, and it became a serpent. And Moses fled from it. And the Lord said unto Moses, Put forth thine hand, and take it by the tail. And he put forth his hand, and he caught it, and it became a rod in his hand. That they may believe that the Lord God of their fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, hath appeared unto thee. So ends the reading. We'll uh, read chapter 6 and beyond in chapter 4 in Exodus the next time. Hope to see you there.